us tonight at 530. First up for you from Waterbury, a shooting suspect is on the loose right now and their family torn apart by what police are calling an act of deadly domestic violence. And this all unfolded this morning on Mark Lane, leaving a woman dead and her son injured by gunfire. Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Audrey Russo is live at police headquarters with all the details. Audrey. Mark, Aaron, uh, police tell us that the suspect who's still on the loose is the estranged husband of the female victim. And we're learning that that suspect has a long history of domestic violence. And this whole situation comes as elected officials were in the Brass City just today talking about new gun control legislation to stop crimes exactly like this one. Domestic violence and access to guns is a lethal combination. Just hours before Lieutenant Governor Susan Bicewitz made this remark at a press conference in Waterbury, that exact combination played out with tragic results. Police say a 45-year-old woman was murdered by her estranged husband at this condo on Mark Lane. Their 19-year-old son was also shot and sent to the hospital with injuries that are now in stable condition. The suspect fled the scene, but police say they have strong leads on where they might be. The party uh, is, uh, was a convicted felon, uh, had a, a strong uh, domestic violence history uh, within the household. More than seven arrests, police say, in the past few years with gun offenses, drug offenses, and violent crimes to his name. Case in point, we should not have had a gun. We want to require a 10-day waiting period before purchasing a firearm. Elected officials were in the Brass City to promote new firearms legislation from the governor. Another part of the proposal, making family violence convictions a disqualifier for a pistol permit. Although the police chief says the suspect in this murder got a hold of the gun illegally. We are working uh, with uh, members from the family to, uh, to try to determine how that occurred. But Chief Fernando Spagnolo says enacting this legislation could have prevented the murder by placing outside eyes on the suspect in the form of a more supervised release. And that potentially uh, may have had the judicial system or law enforcement or some nonprofit organization to provide services to this person that would have been looking out for this situation to occur and combated it. Police say this was a targeted attack and that the rest of the community is not in danger. But he acknowledges that risk is present for neighbors anytime bullets start flying. A growing concern echoed by a neighbor of the victim who was too afraid to have her face shown on camera. It's a scary thought, but it's like it's starting and it's feel like it's a normal thing, and that's the crazy part. Again, police are still looking for the suspect. They have not identified him by name or either of the victims at this time. Live in Waterbury, Audrey Russo for Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Audrey.